most people think when they open their eyes and look around that what they are seeing is outside. It seems, doesn't it, that you are behind your eyes. This is it, so you don't need to do anything at all. But the difficulty about explaining that is that don't, you, you mustn't try not to do anything, because that's doing something. And how to explain that? Because there's nothing to explain, it's the, it, it, it is the way it is now, you see. And if you understand that, it will automatically wake you up. That's your game, that's your life game, that's what makes you think you're an ego. And uh, when you want to wake up, you will. Just like that. If you're not awake, it shows you don't want to. You're, you're still playing the hide part of the game. Because people can't be talked out of illusions. moment in which I'm talking and you're listening is eternity. This film attempts to lift the veil on the controlling forces running the prison planet and take the viewer on a simulator busting excursion, taking apart the electromagnetic constructs which compromise the holographic reality within which the primitive workers were designed to operate. The self that you know is but one fragment of your entire identity. Special sports league, the NFL, the NBA, are governing tactics used to make the populace less angry and provide a pressure relief valve for pent up aggression, as is visual entertainment, like what you're watching right now, which is used for pent up slave Nothing exists in a rock, mineral, green, animal, or air that is not filled with consciousness of its own kind. I'm saying, of course, that there is no such thing as dead matter. Some frequencies can make us happy. Others can scramble mental functions or even cause death. I can tell you, for example, that there is consciousness, even within a nail, but few of the viewers will take this seriously enough to stop in mid-sentence and say good morning or good afternoon to the nearest nail they can find stuck in a piece of wood. Suppose a drug has the ability to change human consciousness by activating hidden DNA.
government would be faced with a new front on the drug war to stop the trend of the consciousness, altering chemicals, and be responsible for the sudden uprisings. Your feelings can be best described as the three-dimensional materialization of far greater physiological events and experiences that are related to the inner senses. Each soul's pathway must traverse this material simulator with humble beginnings as a pyramid worker, genetically designed to break out of the oppressed and sleep. We may create, you see, the forest in which we grow. A phoenix rising crescendo, evolving towards the utopian ideal state of coexistence and galactic brotherhood. You can learn to change your physical environment, therefore, by learning to change and manipulating your dream environment. Forcing the human populace to move from rural farms into urban megacities has a devastating effect on the communal consciousness. There is no end to our environment. The consciousness suppression veil is being lifted ever so gently with no end in sight. Since we realize that our identity is not dependent upon form, therefore, of course, we do not fear changing it, knowing that we can adapt any form we desire. Our creators provided us with a narrow gate to escape the entrapment of their slave design. Will you join me on this journey through this narrow gate? Men and women are designed from an intentionally different standpoint, so that when they operate together in accordance with similar boundaries, a spiritual union of the independent Merkaba fields may occur. Personality is the capsule of ever-changing perception. It is the part of the identity which perceives. Consciousness is unique to the individual's path. Thus, one cannot simply copy someone else's life process to take a shortcut. Truth is a pathless land only to be found by the efforts of a seeking soul. There is not just one dimension in which non-physical consciousness resides. Are we destined to live the life we do? Was our opportunity to choose each fork in the path of fate for the destiny we long to achieve in this life. All systems of reality are not physically oriented, you see, and some are entirely unacquainted with physical form. If one has the intelligence to understand the mind of God within the seeds of life, then modifications with intentional design can be performed. For all of the future is an open book to him who can read. So, no matter the level of darkness that was poured out on your path, you have the courage and the wisdom to transmute the darkness of ignorance into light. This is our son's sole purpose here in the third dimensional holographic screenplay we call life. All matter is in a transient state on its way back to the same source energy, to the creator of all. What we have to find out how to do is to change the psychological attitude. It requires the best uh, brains in public relations, in propaganda, in all that kind of thing, and in all the media, television, radio, newspapers, everything, to try to get across a message to the vast general public.
Hey man, that's groovy.